I must admit I slept through the coldest part of the day this morning, but if you were up early, uh, generally about 4 to 8 a.m. that time frame, a lot of places were dipping below freezing. And here we go, lows this morning, just about everywhere in the valley on the map here, uh, dip below freezing or at freezing. You can see the coldest spot at 26 Atlas 10 Manuel, 27 in Rio Grande City, most everywhere right around the 30 degree mark. 30 was a low in Harlingen, even 30, which we didn't squeeze in in Edinburgh, and 31 in Brownsville and Port Isabel. And the only spot here above freezing was McAllen, which barely stayed at 33. So plenty of chilly stuff around the area and won't be nearly as cold tonight. No more freezing concerns. Temperatures at least 10 degrees or more warmer than the lows from last night. So 41 the low expected tonight in Rio Grande City, about 45 in Brownsville, near 50 at the coast. But uh, still a cool night. I mean, temperatures are already in the 50s. We'll kind of settle down probably into the upper 40s before midnight and kind of hang in the 40s most of the night ahead with some high clouds coming overhead. But that's about it. Some light winds from the east. Currently, it's already down to 57 in Wesleco, 54 even in Port Isabel, still 61 in McAllen and 62 in Rio Grande City. Now, the wind flow was from the north yesterday, then decreased. Now the wind flows more from the east. You know, give or take a little bit in the wind direction. But with that wind flow shifting now, that's bringing back warmer temperatures gradually. So not a sudden warm up, but a, a little warm up the next few days. And we could peak by about Sunday before the next small drop off in temperatures. Day planner tomorrow starting off in the 40s instead of the 30s in the morning. And I think the clouds may thicken up a little more. The clouds are kind of high and thin right now. They may get a little lower and thicker at times tomorrow. Still should allow some sunshine to get through, so back up to about 65. Maybe the same as today's afternoon temperature, but a couple degrees different. No big deal, but uh, the warming trend kind of slowly building. By tomorrow evening, we're still in the upper 40s and lower 50s, but not freezing again anytime soon. Across Texas, 40s and 50s across the state with the coldest of air moved on now. And the way the weather pattern is setting up for the next few days, that big storm on the east coast is kind of sucking all the cold air eastward and not allowing it to come toward Texas. Now across Texas, you see pretty much dry weather. There are some high thin clouds. Occasionally they're picking up here with a couple sprinkles to the north. And that's a possibility here, a very slim possibility. But if the clouds do get thick enough, say maybe Friday evening or Saturday or Saturday evening, you might see a sprinkle in a couple areas, but the moisture looks very, very limited overall. So future track does show high thin clouds coming through tonight. A cool night ahead, but not cold like it was last night. Tomorrow, you know, there's a lot more gray on the map. Again, I think the clouds thicken up a little more. Not 100% gray skies, but maybe a little thicker clouds than today and uh, generally a dry day. But you notice again, future track does show the clouds kind of still hanging around on Saturday. Occasionally, you see these little, little blips of green pop up. You might have a sprinkle in one or two spots if the clouds thicken. But again, essentially rain chances are near 0%. And then by the time we get to Sunday, I think the clouds start to break up more as a storm system comes across areas to the north. So that could pump up some warmer temperatures. So out of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I think Sunday by far should be the warmest day with temperatures well into the 70s. But again, rain chances as close to zero as you can get. Maybe one or two sprinkles somewhere Friday evening or Saturday afternoon or evening. But the clouds overall probably not getting thick enough for any rainfall. So the weekend, again, Saturday's temperatures, you know, I wanted to put 70 on there, but the clouds on some of the models are a little Look a little thicker, so may not get out of the upper 60s if the clouds stay thick enough. By Sunday, though, we should be more partly in the mostly sunny skies and back into the 70s. Might touch 80 in the upper valley, and then we do have a chance to hit 80 next week, too. So the first 1570 forecast highs near 65 tomorrow, 69 on Saturday, near 78 by Sunday. Uh, low temperatures come up, too, mainly in the 50s by the weekend. There's a small drop off in temperatures Monday because a weak cold front comes through and Drops temperatures slightly by Monday back to near 70 for highs, but then we warm back up. It could be near 80 by Wednesday and Thursday, but we'll show you coming up next half hour. There may be another cold front on the horizon late next week to drop temperatures again. So we'll track it in your first one five forecast here again in about 30 minutes.